teach him, pale faced brother, all about Red Man. Good. This should be most enlightening. This is Disney, the largest mega corporation ever. And this is their portrayal of Native Americans. Despite being very inaccurate to reality, the stereotypes that Disney shows is now what people think of when they think of Native Americans. This is an example of the power that film has, the ability to shape people's minds. Film and television convey ideas and ideals to millions of people in our society. However, some ideas conveyed are harmful to certain groups of people. There are many ways that film and television misrepresent minorities. These misrepresentations fill the minds of many and create or add to bias and prejudice. This prejudice and bias ends up negatively impacting the outcomes of the people being misrepresented. This could mean a job opportunity going away, a harsher sentencing from a judge, or a higher likelihood of being the victim of a violent act. Misrepresentation of minorities happens so often because there is an inclusion gap in Hollywood. When people aren't able to tell their story, others will tell it wrong. Misrepresentation starts behind the camera and it spreads throughout the world. You can't run away from trouble. <laughs> so what can we do about it? If we think about film and television as being like a mythology, if we want that mythology to actually represent who we are as a society, then the representations that take place in film and television need to also more accurately reflect who our society is. There are large swaths of the population that are simply not represented behind the scenes in film or television. Either they're not behind the camera, they're not in the writer's rooms, um, they're not uh, directing, they're, they're not represented in certain roles on crew in film and television. And so again, when there's such a small number of people telling the stories, and when those small numbers don't also include members of underrepresented groups, then those people are only sharing their narrow ideas of what it means to be different kinds of people in the world. So the way to fix this is to include everyone's voice in the production of media. And to do this, we need to include everyone in our film schools. Our film schools are pipelines for how um, people get trained in making films and then make their way into the industry. And so if we can ensure that our film schools are inclusive, that we're bringing in people from lots of different backgrounds, perspectives, identities, um, history, skill levels, and training them, then we add to this pipeline um, and provide more people that simply can't be turned away um, because that's the pool of talent that industry has to pull from. So if we can do better in our film schools, that's one way we can fight this.